Hey guys, I'm David Mitchell, founder and CEO of Tradeway. What if God himself gave you a blueprint for how to handle your money? Well, the Bible is a practical book. Let's dive in and see what it has to say about wealth, about risk, about leverage, and about investing, and uncover how trading in the stock market can be a powerful tool for moving towards your biggest goals. We're so happy you're here. This is The Word on Investing. Hey everybody, thanks for taking time to join us again today. And as you may know, we've previously covered the three financial fables that you hear out there on Wall Street and around the community, different things people believe about trading and investing that simply aren't true. Today, I want to move into a new topic, and I'm excited about this one because in our family, I'm a fourth generation businessman, and my great grandfather, grandfather, and my dad passed skill sets down to me that I've passed on to my children and grandchildren. And we're sharing those skill sets with you guys. And one of the things is, as far as investing, is we've got this idea called the three legged table. And we've been teaching this around the country now for, I don't know, over 15 years. And it's really a great way to think about the proper way to do any stock trade and even applies to long-term investing. So we're going to talk about that today. It's really super cool. But before I do it, I want to tell you there are three big secrets that we talk about at Tradeway. And the three-legged table is the first one, the most important one. That's what we're going to discuss today. But also there's a second concept, and I call it simply just getting the math on your side. And we'll talk about that. And then also how to leverage what the big boys are doing. Figure out what they're doing and do it with them. And we'll talk about that. So those three big ideas are the three big ideas of Tradeway. The three-legged table, how to get the math on your side, how to leverage what the big boys are doing. And we're going to discuss all that with you guys. So today, let's just talk about the three-legged table. And what in the world does that mean? Well, I want you to picture a pretty little three-legged table in your house with a, maybe a nice tablecloth and and some nice pretty little things on top, maybe some china, maybe some photographs with pretty frames, whatever. Okay, now what happens if you remove just one of the three legs? Well, the whole thing crashes, doesn't it? And everything on the table breaks. And so I like you to picture that when you're thinking about a stock trade, okay? You have to have three legs on the table in order not to mess it up and break everything. So Let's think of it that way. Now, what are those three things that you need to have in every single stock trade? And by the way, there is such a thing as breaking rules and cheating when it comes to stock trading and your emotions get in the way and cause you to cheat and break rules. You know what? It'll kind of fix itself because you'll lose money when you do that and it hurts. And you'll say, you know what? I'm not going to break that one anymore. So remember that too when we start talking about these concepts because these are not suggestions. These are rules that need to be kept perfectly. So first rule is you need three legs on your trading table. Every trade should have all three or you don't press the go button. Okay, so that's kind of where we're going. So what are those three legs? First one is called fundamental analysis. The second one is called technical analysis. And the third one is called market tone. Now, fundamental analysis is really the only three out of the three legs that you would learn in business school, even at the master's level, even at the doctorate level, you wouldn't learn anything but those that first one, which is called fundamentals. And you learn a lot about it. You learn how to run ratios. You learn how to how to have, I don't know how many, I don't even remember from the MBA program I was in years ago, but I mean, there are probably close to 100 different financial ratios that you can mathematically calculate based on the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement predominantly of a company. And then you can compare those numbers, those ratios, to other like companies. And so if you had five or six companies you were thinking about investing in, but you only had money to put it into one, you could narrow it down to the best investment in theory by finding the company that has those best financial ratio numbers and choose that one. So that's what fundamental analysis is all about. So, you know, you got all kinds of different ratios. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, technical analysis, what is that about? Well, you can take charting software and we can make you aware of some of the good ones out there. And you can find some that are really inexpensive, but excellent uh, but they're out there. In fact, some brokerage companies, when you put your money in their brokerage company, they have free software 
that'll do charting. So what, is, what does it do? It tracks the price action of a stock or an ETF or whatever you're looking at, even an index, but it, it plots the price at the close of the day is how they did this originally. So they would take the closing price of that stock every day and then connect the dots and it creates a line and that line moves up and down sideways sometimes, up and down, up and down. Sometimes it will trend upward for many months. Sometimes it'll stop and take a rest and go sideways. Sometimes it'll head down for two, three months and then head back up. So that that is what we're talking about with technical analysis. One of the main things is that that price chart. And now, of course, our software will chart way more than just the closing price. It'll chart the opening price, the closing price, the high and the low. We call that candlesticks, a candlesticks chart, believe it or not. But that way it shows you a whole lot about that stock that happened in any given day. And then it still creates the little line that your eye can watch the ebbs and flows of that stock. And it creates little cycles sometimes. Even even sometimes it will create patterns that are well-recognized and well-accepted in the trading community as legitimate. And things that our family... Uh, we've got studies in Tradeway where I've gone through, and you know, here again, you can you can buy a book that's three inches thick that talks about these patterns, but they they don't all work the same now that we have such high volume of trading with the internet. So many people are trading. So we just talk about the ones that actually still work and that you can recognize and you'll end up looking for them uh, because you can find uh, better buy points, better sell points if you understand these patterns. So that's what technical analysis is all about. And then the thing called market tone, it's really important. In fact, in my book, it's the most important because think about it, news drives the markets. And with regard to Tradeway, when we talk about market tone, we're talking about two major components. You got the whole world news and economic news component, and then you've got the chart of the S&P 500, which we're going to teach you how to chart the S&P 500. That is going to be something you're going to learn to do and be really good at. So if you know those two components, the news side and the chart of the S&P, that really helps you have another part of the probability math that causes you to have the potential to get your trade right more often. Let me give you a couple of examples of why market tone is so important. Don't you think it would make a difference in the stock market if the Fed decided to print money and lower the interest rates so everybody has more money they can borrow to build businesses and so forth? So that's a news item, what the Fed's going to do and when they're going to meet. That's important to know. Or what about if something major happens in Europe and all of a sudden their stock market is tanking? Or late last night while we're asleep, the Eastern markets tank. Those are market tone items that are kind of important. So we talk about that. Even this coronavirus, you know that affected the market. I mean, it fell 30, almost 36% within just a few days after that really serious nature of it caught hold in the market. And so these kinds of news events are really important. And I would put them right up there with fundamental analysis and technical analysis. It's just an important third leg of the trading table. So if we could kind of sum it up this way, the three legs are fundamental analysis. That tells you what the pros are looking at. What kind of stocks are they thinking about buying? Because they love to look at the fundamentals and they're doing it all the time. And they, they spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on staff members that do nothing but crunch ratios and look at the fundamentals. All right. So that shows you what stocks they're looking at. Technical analysis is the second leg. That tells you when the professionals are likely to act, whether they're going to buy or sell a particular stock. And then the third one is market tone. It tells you why they're doing what they do right now. So you need those three things. And really, you want all three of those at one time saying yes before you push the go button. So think of it that way. Now, let me say this quickly before we go further into this study. In the MBA program, you have to know that I sat there and read study, maybe a couple of three studies back in those days, usually done by the statistics department, where they, quote, proved that you cannot pick stocks based on charting. You know, that if you look at a chart, and even if you know these patterns that are talked about in the books, and you know candlesticks, and you know support and resistance lines, moving averages, some of these things we'll talk about later, different indicators, even if you know all that, None of that will predict what a stock is going to do. It absolutely doesn't work. And, and they'll have mathematical studies, quote, proving that. Now, here's the problem. If you've ever studied logic, you know that there's a logical fallacy called the straw man argument. And what that is, is if you can't beat someone on the merits of your argument, 
Then you put up in front of your listeners some idea that your opponent doesn't even really believe in and doesn't do, but you act like he does that and you prove it wrong. And that's actually what's being done in those studies because it's really funny. I would be, I would be sitting there 40 miles away from my ranch that I grew up on where my grandfather was still living there. My parents were there. And so I've got this statistics professor putting up on a, on a back in those days, a blackboard with ch- actual chalk and proving mathematically that charting cannot predict the future. And he's making about 80,000 a year at that time maybe 85,000 a year. And he's saying it's totally impossible to predict what a stock will do with charting. And 40 miles away, my millionaire grandfather was doing what the man said was impossible. So what was I going to do? Who was I, who would I believe my millionaire grandfather or my statistics professor that I know doesn't even trade. So obviously I snored through that class. Right. But I mean, the problem is their studies are not set up like we actually do it. So think about it. What they're doing is they're setting up a study where they look at one of the three legs, technicals. None of us trade that way. You know, nobody that makes money trades that way anyway. So I know there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet where you can Google things and they'll, they'll, they're trying to sell you charting software. They're going to show you all the ways you can make all this money with a chart and with indicators. And guess what? It won't work. That's why you can't just Google this stuff and go get good at it. That's why you need one reason you need Tradeway, because we're going to share with you exactly what we've done in our family and how it works and what does and doesn't work and why it does and doesn't work. And you'll get a clear understanding. And you're going to learn from people that are actually stock traders, not just teachers. All right. So it's a straw man argument when you want to talk about charting doesn't predict the future. Anybody that's ever made money in the market knows that because you've got to have all three legs on the table. You've got to have fundamental analysis. You've got to know if it's a great company, great leadership, great products. Your earnings per share are growing double digits quarter to quarter, things like that. You have to have a great company. Secondly, you do have to have the technicals to be able to find good entry and exit points. And then third, you need the market tone. You need to go with the flow of what the whole world is doing. Is is the market happy today? Is the market down today? You don't want to trade against the market. So you need all three of those to say yes. You need fundamentals, technicals, and market tone to say go. And when you see a time where all three of those say go, that's when you have the potential for a really great trade. And that's really a great secret Now, I mentioned earlier, there are a couple of other main ideas that our company teaches. You've got the three-legged table. That's probably the most important. But there are two others that are very, very important. I just want to mention those because today I'm kind of giving you an overview of how our system works and why it works. So the second one would be get the math on your side. And the third great idea is leverage the big boys. So let me discuss those and just give you an idea of what I mean. What about getting the math on your side? Well, the key is that the big boys use probability math when they're trading. That's They've taught it. They've learned it from all their MBA programs. They all kind of look at it the same. A big thing they look at is called reversion to the mean. In other words, as, as a stock moves away, moves up and moves away from its moving average, it'll tend to pull back to it. Things like that. We're going to discuss all those things in detail. But the thing is, they do use probability math, and it works. It doesn't mean you can predict the future. It's that you can predict the probability, and that's what we're going to teach you to do. Now, another aspect to getting the math on your side is to manage your risk. And one of the ways you do that is to understand a little thing called stopouts. And we teach you how to use those. They're part of the trading software at any of the brokerage companies you might choose. And so... You want to set stopouts on your trades, and that way if the trade doesn't go the way you thought it would, in other words, if you're doing an up play and you want to make money when it's going up and it turns and goes down, then you want to stop it out at an acceptably small loss, say 8%. But if it goes the direction you thought it would and you're doing an up play and it goes up, you want to let that run as high as it has been running in the past so that you gain the full potential of the up move. So let's say maybe 30%. So think about it. Getting the math on your side, if the stock goes the wrong way, you lose 8% of the money in that particular trade. But if it goes the right way, you potentially make 30% or more. And so do the math. I mean, if you're making 30% when you win 
and you're only losing 8% when you lose, then you don't have to win every time to make money. And that's the trick of the big boys. They don't expect to win every time. No one does, but you don't have to. If you can get six out of 10 trades right, you have the potential to make money. If you get seven out of 10 trade right, you have the potential to make a lot of money. So that's just kind of what we mean when I say getting the math on your side. And we teach that in our very first step one, start your journey. And we even talk about it in the trade in 30 days challenge. So this is something we really want you to get, how to manage the risk, how to get the math on your side, win big when you win, lose little when you lose. And and we don't even call it a loss, by the way. We call it an expense. Every business has expenses, right? And there aren't many in stock trading. So the predominant expense is when the trade goes the wrong way or a different way than you thought it would. And you take an acceptably small stop out. That is a good and correct expense for your trading business. And we'll teach you all those ways to think about it, but it's real important because you don't want to think of yourself as a loser. So you don't say, well, I lost on that trade. You say I had an expense on that trade. And that's how we all learn to think. Now, um, so getting the math on your side is winning big when it works, losing little when it doesn't go the way you thought it would. That's pretty simple, but it's really important. Now, the third thing, leveraging the big boys. What if you had a way where you could tell When the big boys on Wall Street got into a particular stock and you could get in right after they got in. And what if you could tell a way to know when they're about to get out of a particular stock and sell it, which would cause the price to go down, and you could get out before they got out? Wouldn't that be cool? Do you think you'd have the potential to make money? I think you would. So that's what we're going to teach you. That's the third thing. We got the three leg table. We get getting the math on your side. And now we're going to teach you how to leverage the big boys. Now, who are the big boys? Well, you might be thinking that's the stockbroker, or you might be thinking that's your financial advisor, or you might be thinking that's the CEO of a company. It's none of that. These are people who manage huge amounts of money. Uh, They might manage a, a mutual fund, for example, and they're responsible for trading with multiplied millions of dollars and they can buy millions of shares at a time or dump a million shares at a time easily because they're trading with other people's money and a lot of it, sometimes in the billions of dollars. And so they can wield a big stick. They can go in and buy a million shares at one time of any particular stock or sell a million. That's the kind of people we're calling the big boys. Now they actually determine the patterns that stocks make, they are human beings and they have personalities and risk tolerances and all these different things that make the group of people that control a particular stock. And it's usually two or three people, these big boys, that if they all do the same thing at the same time, they can turn the stock in a particular direction, either up or down. And we teach you all about that in step one, start your journey. And we discuss that also in the Trade in 30 Days Challenge. So it's really interesting information, really important information to understand that we're going to teach you how to leverage these big boys and what they're doing. We're going to show you how you can use charting to and the volume bars in particular on a chart, which you'll learn about that when I discuss technical analysis later in more detail. But there are ways you can look at a chart and you can tell when the big boys just jumped into a particular stock and you can get in right after they got in. And there are ways to predict based on the past with potentially great probability, not certainty, but with probability math when they're going to get out because they tend to get out at a certain level and they've done so in the past. And so you have a good probability they'll get out there again. So what you do is you just jump out before it gets to that price. Now, look, I know this seems a little complicated when you're listening to it here, but listen, you can go out to tradeway.com. And you can sign up for Step 1 Start Your Journey. It's a live virtual event. You got coaches, trainers on there. You got other students on there to fellowship with. And we're going to take everything step by step. And you'll be able to visualize everything and see the charting and see all of it too. So it really helps. So we're starting at ground zero. and We're going to take it step by step and walk you right through. You come out the other end after two days, you've actually got strategies that give you the potential to begin to do good trades. That can change your family financially. So don't forget to sign up for step one, start your journey. Just go out to tradeway.com and get started today. So we're really excited for this trek we're going to have together. I mean, we're going to teach you all about the three-leg table, how important that is, how to use that. We're going to teach you how to get the math on your side. And then you're going to have a way to have the potential to win big when you win and and lose little when you lose, when you have an expense. Got to start calling it that, right? 
and how to get the big boys and understand what they're doing and see what they're doing and do it with them. Because think about it. Those big boys have millions of dollars to pay salaries to people to do nothing but analysis all day long. So they are looking at the fundamentals of these companies that they're getting into, spending millions of dollars on salaries and on research before they decide to get into a particular stock. Well, we don't have to spend all that money or all that time. We just leverage what they're doing and we watch them. And when they jump in, we jump in right after them. Isn't that cool? Okay, well, thanks for joining us today. And I just want to remind you, one of the best ways to get involved and start learning these powerful skill sets we've been talking about is to go out and register for Step 1, Start Your Journey. It's a live, virtual, two-day event. It can be life-changing. And remember, you can do this from the comfort of your own home, but also you got the benefit of having hundreds of other students on there with you because it's live. you got teachers, and it's just like an in-person event. The difference is you can do it from the comfort of your home and still experience that great fellowship. So just go out to Tradeway.com and sign up for Step 1 Start Your Journey. And we hope you enjoyed the show today. And if you did, just rate and review it so like-minded people can find us. And we'll see you next time.